How to organize and operate with folders in Speech Exec. Menu bar. The menu bar provides a great overview of the most important settings and functions in Speech Exec Pro. The toolbar. The toolbar displays shortcuts to important functions like making a new recording, editing, general settings, and refreshing. The mini toolbar contains the most used commands when it comes to working with folders. Some of them can be found below the tree view and the others can be found below the device. Tree view. The tree view displays your folder structure and makes it easier for you to have an easy access to all the folders while still having an overview. It depends on the pre-configured settings and your personal settings how the tree view looks like. A small arrow on the left side of a folder indicates that this folder has subfolders. In order to see them, simply click on the arrow. Recorders On your recorders panel, you can see if there is any recording device connected to your speech exec dictate, and if so, its type is being shown. To view the content of the device, simply click on the device type. To manage your recorder, Please click on the icon of the recorder settings. Dictation list. If you select a specific order, you can see the dictation list on the right side. It displays all the necessary information about the dictations stored in this folder, like author, created date and attachments. Filtering. There's the possibility to quickly search for certain files with the help of filtering. Simply click on the menu bar view then select filtering. Now you can add a criteria by clicking on the bright green plus in the bottom left corner of the filtering window. Just type in the keywords and you'll get your search dictations. The status bar is located at the bottom of the window. It shows your dictation in the selected folder, the number of dictations with priority status and the synchronization status and your active username and role. Folder operations. You have many possibilities how to operate with a folder, for example, creating a folder. Right click inside the blank space of the tree view and select new general folder. Now you have to choose all the folder properties like name, path and visibility. If you click on OK, your new folder will appear in the tree view. Creating a subfolder. To create a subfolder, simply right click on an already existing folder in the tree view and then select new subfolder. With the same way you can also create new subfolders on subfolders. Note to be able to create and view subfolders below existing folders the show subfolders property of the respective folder must be set to yes on folders page in general settings. Rename a folder. Select the folder, right click it and select folder properties. Now you can type the new name in the corresponding field and click on OK to save it. Deleting a folder. Select a certain folder and right click it, then select delete. Click OK. Note, however, that in some cases you cannot delete main folders, only the subfolders. Hide and unhide a folder. Right click the folder and select hide. To reveal the hidden folder, click on the icon of the folder settings.
Then select the folder in the window and enable the visibility. Apply and OK. Drag and drop dictations. You can drag and move a dictation to another file by simply clicking on it and dragging it to the other file. Or if you wanted to copy that dictation to the folder, hold the ALT key just before releasing the mouse key. Copying and moving dictations. Right click on the dictation file and select copy to move, uh, folder or move to folder. Tree view. There are two sections of the tree view. The first one is speech life, the second one is local network. Speech life is a section where you need to have a speech life account already configured and set up and network connection. The folders are named archive, finished and suspended. For these three folders, there is no possibility to create subfolders. Archive. When unarchiving a dictation file from the archive folder, the file is moved to the finished folder and its dictation state changes to transcription suspended. Finished. In this folder, there are dictations located with the state transcription pending. Suspended. These are the dictations with the state suspended. Local network. Archive. There are dictations with the transcription finished state. This folder is hidden by default, but can be made visible. The folder create, creates each day a specific subfolder with the convention arc, underline, year, month and day of the dictations. Finished dictations. Dictations with the state transcription pending. Local work. The concept of the local work folder is easy to understand. You make a dic dictation and want that dictation sent to a network folder. But if speech exec has no connection to a network folder, it will work with the local work folder, meaning that every dictation which is recorded, finished and sent to speech life is being sent to the local work folder. And as long as there is no active internet connection, the dictation files remain in this folder. You can also send dictation files to the local work folder by yourself, if you know that in a few minutes you won't have internet access anymore. As soon as SpeechExec has access to a network again, it will automatically send your dictation files, which are located in the local work folder, to the actual folder you wanted to your dictations to be. The outbox. Dictations waiting to be sent per email. Send items. Dictations which have been successfully sent by email are moved here from the outbox folder. Suspended. Dictations with suspended state. Dictations are moved to the suspended folder when you click save as draft in the recorder window. Dictation folder types. Physical and virtual folders. A physical folder is a folder which you can actually see and find on your file system. This means that physical folders are directly tied to a folder on your computer. That means that they are physically present and that's why they are called physical folders. Examples are the pending dictations, suspended and finished dictations folder. A virtual folder, however, functions as a repository for files. You can see the virtual folder as a cloud which is not connected to any file of your computer and is therefore hidden and cannot be seen. Speech Live folders. Speech Live is an internet based file sharing solution. It provides an online file storage base and an easy way to share dictation files and related documents between speech exec users without requiring an expensive file service. 
SpeechLive folders are displayed under the My Speech Live node in the tree view. The to do folder. The to do folder can only be seen in Speech Exec Pro Transcribe. This folder organizes all input folders for the transcriptionist into one simulated overview folder. The input for the to do folder comes by default from the pending dictations folders, which are mapped to the author's finished dictations folders, from the suspended folders, and from the inbox folder. Note that you cannot create subfolders for the to-do folder or not delete it.